Hey YouTube, back again. So today we're gonna to have a video of autopilot and how it performs on a backcountry road. So the first part of this video is strictly gonna be edits of the biggest curves. And if you wanna see the full unedited version, that's gonna be at the end of the video. If you haven't done yet, hit subscribe. That really helps support the channel. Also, I'm gonna have my referral link if you're in the market for a new or if you're gonna lease a Tesla. Check my referral link down there and it's gonna get you 1,000 miles of free supercharging. And now with Tesla's new updates, it's super easy to order it right from your cell phone. So thank you in advance for using my referral code. And now let's jump into the video here on these backcountry roads to see how autopilot performs. So these first couple turns here are not that sharp, easy to, for the autopilot to navigate, but as you'll see later on in the video, these turns get pretty aggressive. Here is a good example, and we'll slow that down and watch it again, of the autopilot actually uh, detecting this car turning in front and it slams on the brakes. So you can see right here, and I actually had the autopilot disengaged because I took over the steering to make sure we didn't hit the other car. So I've said in my other videos, autopilot is awesome, and it's particularly awesome when there's traffic. It takes the pain out of driving in traffic. So you can see I'm in autopilot right here. The maximum speed is set to about 25 miles per hour and it's going about 10 or 12 just following this traffic right along. No issues whatsoever at slow speeds in traffic. Again, this is where I think autopilot pays for itself. So if you have a longer commute, you need autopilot. And what's nice is now autopilot's included with any Tesla that you buy. And look at that, a Model 3 just parked right there. Okay, here's the part where we're getting to a little bit more of aggressive t curves. And as you can see, the autopilot actually goes into the other lane. So I go ahead and take over. Right here is where it's disengaged, where about half the vehicle is in the other lane um, before I take over the vehicle. Previously, I've tried this on different builds or software versions. So currently my car is running 2019.8.5. And I would say this is a significant improvement on this road. Previously, I've had to take over multiple times in older software. So this just shows me that the autopilot's getting smarter and better and So this curve in particular, I've had to take over before in previous builds because it tries to go straight ahead into that driveway. As you can see there, I mean, it performs flawlessly. Again, this new software update, 2019.8.5, is a significant improvement, and I think that was kind of overlooked by a lot of people. So in previous builds, I've had the autopilot try to swerve for that big tree right on the side of the road. So take a look at this next clip, you're gonna see the autopilot quickly swerve, which is great because previously I've had to take over. Let's look at that again in slow-mo. The autopilot will correct itself just in the neck of time. I mean, that's a really hard turn right there for, uh, autopilot to see. Even humans have a hard time navigating that. So watch the autopilot take this curve. I mean, this is super smooth. This is like butter. It is incredible that the autopilot is able to navigate around this curve where you have limited visibility of the road in front of you. So after this slight curve to the left, which it does beautifully, we have a more aggressive left-hand turn right here that kind of goes up and down, which is hard for the autopilot to see the lines. So in previous builds, I've had to take over right here because it would swerve to the right and not knowing that it was a left. This autopilot navigates this sharp curve to the right up a hill flawlessly. And I know I sound like a broken record, but in previous builds, it was not able to do that turn. Same with this turn here, this sharp right, the autopilot is now actually slowing down the max speed. As you can see, it started at 35 and through the curve, it starts slowing down. Whereas in previous builds, it tries to take it at maximum speed without slowing down on the curve. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Like I said previously, at the end of this video, you're gonna see the full unedited version if you wanna watch that of this entire drive. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.